In this video I'm going to talk about how you cut off the pumpkin that you don't want. Hey Sam here, Giant Pumpkins NZ. How's it going? In the last video I talked about how many pumpkins you want on the vine, but obviously you're going to have to wait until they get to the size of a basketball, and then you can pick the one that you want, and then you'll know it will grow. Now the ones that don't, they might stop growing. Now I've got one of those on the vine. Now for me, I've got three growing on the main vine, three, and uh, another one on the end that I wanted to pollinate, but that's going to be no good, so it's going to be taken off as well. And I'm going to take the first one off, uh, the main vine. It's pretty simple, you just want to cut it off gently and carefully, making sure not to damage the main vine, which is carrying all the nutrients that you still need. Now this one here is the first one off the main vine, so it's the very first one. Now it's stopped growing, and it looks like it has a soft spot here, and it's just in a weird spot. Um, the vine is, it's coming straight off the vine there. I'm not liking the look of that. I'm gonna cut that off. Now you can do it with a sharp knife. Uh, can't seem to find one of them. I've got a pair of second tools here, and I'm gently just gonna go in there very easily to cut. Um, and I don't want to damage any of this vine because this vine here will still be carrying all the food to the next pumpkin along which looks like it's going to be the one. So nice simple cut. There we go. Um, and there's a baby pumpkin that no longer needs. This here I'm just going to leave. I'll keep an eye on it but it should be okay. So there we go. It's pretty simple but um, you just want to keep an eye on the different ones. Sometimes it'd be hard to decide and you may be questioning if you've made the right decision. Now most people want that pumpkin 12 to 15 feet out on the main vine. All the side vines are buried, you're getting all the nutrients. Now here in the tiny patch, that doesn't happen that way. It's a little bit different and uh, end up with things looking like this. This is just a reject pumpkin that I've cut off. Now what can you do with this? Absolutely nothing, throw it in the compost pile. Have you ever had regrets cutting off the wrong pumpkin? Let me know in the comments below. If you're not already subscribed, please make sure to subscribe. Click the little button below and then click the little bell. You'll get a notification every time a new video comes out. All the links to the website, the blog posts and everything are in the show notes. Please check that out. And if you're not part of the GPNZN crew, come say hi over at the website.